Hi, welcome to a new IT Business Essentials tutorial. My name is Carlos and today we will talk about how to protect your Google account. I will give you seven tips that you can start applying right now to make your Google account more secure. How do you know if you have a Google account? There might be different ways to answer these questions. If you access any of the Google services using your email address and the password, then you have a Google account. It could be your Gmail account, or maybe a YouTube account, or AdSense, or a Google Workspace account. All of them are Google accounts, and they come with security features. A part of the Google security settings, there are good practices to help you get your account secured. Here, we will give you seven tips to make your Google accounts more secure. The first three tips are options that you will find within your Google account. I will show you here how to access and use them. The first one is to add or update your recovery options, your phone number and your email address. They can help you unblock unauthorized access to your account, alert you of suspicious activity on your account, and recover access to your account in case you lose it. Tip number two, turn on two-step verification. It adds a additional security layer to your account. When you have two-step verification on, you will need a second step to access your account after entering your password. Tip number three, check your devices where you currently have signed in. One example is your phone, where you have configured your Gmail account to check your emails. Another example is when you use Google Chrome, for example, and you sign in with your Google account to personalize your browsing experience. Google gives you the power to sign out or disconnect any of those devices where you have signed in. Let's say, for example, that you lose your phone or your laptop. Then you can access your Google account and disconnect or sign out those devices from your account. Let's jump into our computer and I will show you how it works these three options. We have accessed our computer and we open our Gmail account. We will show you here how to access and use the three options that we just mentioned a moment ago. So we need to go, we need to click on the upper right corner on this little circle. Then we will click on manage your Google account. And then we need to click on security. The first option that we are going to check is the recovery options. We will look for ways we can verify it is you. Here, we will find the recovery phone and the recovery email address. We have already added the phone and we are going to add the email address. Your phone and your email address will work or will be used in case you need to recover access to your account. Click on here, add email address. We need to enter our password again. And we will need to enter the alternate email address or the recovery email address here in this space. Once we enter the email address, we just click on save and that's done. The second option is the two-step verification. It will be within the signing into Google and we have it here. It is off right now and we want to turn it on. We click on here and then click on get started. We will need to enter our phone number, which is already here. And then we have two options. We can receive a text message or we can receive a call. In this case, we will use a text message. We click on next and we have now received the code that we need to enter here. Once we enter the code, we click on next and we are ready to turn on the two-step verification. From now on, if we want to access our Gmail account, we will need to enter the code that we will receive via text message on our phone. If we access the Gmail account from the computer that we use regularly, we will be asked if we want to avoid or bypass the code. Google will identify if you are connecting or using a different computer, and then you will be asked for the code again. So we are done with the two-step verification. We go back, clicking here, and we are now going to check the third tip, which is your devices. We can see here that we have signed in in two different computers or two different devices. This is the Windows computer where we are working on. 
and we also have sign in in a Mac computer. So if we click here, we will be able to take actions on the devices where you have signed in with your account. We will find these three little dots. If we click here, we will be able to sign out. Let's say that we lose our device. Could be a computer, could be a, a phone or a tablet. And we want to make sure that nobody get access to our Google account. So we just click on sign out and we will disconnect that computer or that device from our Google account. So let's see now how it will work on a Google Workspace account. We have now accessed our Google Workspace account. This is a business account. In this case, there is a additional step. The administrator of our Google Workspace account will need to enable or allow the users to work with a two-step verification. We will need to access our Google Admin Center. We click here on the little, on the nine little dots, and we will search for the admin icon. We are now within the Google Admin Center, and we will click on Security. We will find here the option Two-Step Verification. We click here. As the admin of the Google Workspace, we will have the option to allow users to turn on two-step verification. So this option must be checked. Then we have some additional controls, which is the enforcement. We can enforce the use of two-step verification by clicking here on on. We also can enforce from a specific date, or we can just leave it off. So the users will be able to decide if they want to use it or not. Once this is enabled, as we have it here, we can access the account of the user. We have a tab here already with the account of the user then we need to click again on the little circle on the upper right corner then manage your google account again we will go to security and if you scroll down we will see all the option here two-step verification it will be the same step that we did with our gmail account we will also find the recovery options like the phone the email and also the devices that are connected to this account in this case we have a Windows account, which is this one, and we also have a phone. So in this case, we can we, we could click on here and we could disconnect the phone in case we lose it by signing out. So let's continue with our tips. We will go to the tip number four. Tip number four, update your software, your browser, the operating system in your devices. Make sure you have the most updated version on your computer, Mac or Windows, on your phone, Android or iOS or any other device. One of the reasons for the updates is to protect your devices from threats and vulnerabilities. Applying updates is always a recommended practice. Tip number five, use unique and strong passwords. A strong password will help to keep your files, emails, and personal information protected. Google recommend using password with 12 characters or more. Combine letters, numbers, and symbols. Avoid easy to use passwords like a 12345 or password123 or ABCD1234. Avoid reusing or recycling passwords. Avoid using patterns that you have used in previous passwords. Make your passwords long and more memorable. Easy to remember for you, but difficult to guess by others. Avoid personal information or common words in your passwords. Hide your written passwords. Keep them in a secret place or locked. Don't leave it on your computer or your desk. It is recommended to use a trust password manager. An example is LastPass. I will give you a link in the description. Tip number six, be alert and protect against suspicious messages. Avoid suspicious requests for passwords, personal information, or financial information. If you receive an email requesting information, check the sender email address as well as the reply address. Avoid suspicious web pages. If you use Google Chrome or Firefox, you will get a warning when a website is suspicious or if it is infected by a virus or malware. Tip number seven, check the domain names in links or URLs before accessing them. Scammers send emails 
pretending to be a financial institution or an e-commerce site that you do business with. Those emails contain links or URLs that will take you to a fake website. Don't click on those links. Instead, get in touch to the company or business in question. You can check the URL without accessing. Just look for fake domain names in the link. For example, look for misspelled domain names. In this example, we have highlighted the fake domain names in the URL. It is amazonx.com instead of being amazon.com. You can also check or look for unrelated domain names. You can check the complete domain name. Let's look at this example. Even if we are getting a site that looks like a Citibank, we can see a unrelated domain names within the URL of this website. As we have seen here, the protection of your accounts come from the use of different settings, suggested good practices, and the awareness of possible threats. With this, we are getting to the end of our session today. If you find this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. If you want to see more videos like this one in the future, or if you want to find this video easily, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.